Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. In this video, you will learn how to add a nav bar with a drop down in your Angular 17 app. First we will install Angular 17 and then we will install Bootstrap 5 and add a nav bar with drop down. Let's get started. Click here, type cmd and press enter to open command prompt. Now, type the command ng-new, your project name and press enter. Now use arrow keys to choose the stylesheet format, CSS is already selected so just press enter. Now for server side rendering type n and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download has been completed. Now, type cd your project name and press enter to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open package.json file. Here you can see the installed Angular version is 17.3.0, which is the latest version. Open a new terminal. Click here and select command prompt to open command prompt. Now type the command ng serve to run our app. Go to your browser and type localhost colon 4200 and you will see new Angular 17 page with new logo. Let's install Bootstrap 5. In Google, type Bootstrap and press enter. Click on this link. Copy this command. Click here and select command prompt to open a new command prompt. Paste the copied command here. If you want to install a specific version, bootstrap 5.3.3, then just press enter. Otherwise, remove 5.3.3 and press enter. It will take some time to download bootstrap 5, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download is completed. Open package.json file and you will see bootstrap 5.3.3 in dependencies. Now open angular.json file. Here we need to add bootstrap CSS and JS path in the styles and scripts array. Open node underscore modules folder. Scroll down and you will see bootstrap folder. Open Bootstrap folder and you will see dist folder. You will see two folders in it, CSS and JS. In CSS folder look for bootstrap.min.css file. We need to add this path in the styles array. Open JS folder and look for bootstrap.min.js file. 
We need to add this path in the scripts array. Let's add this paths. In styles array add path for bootstrap CSS file. In double quotes, type node underscore modules slash bootstrap slash dist slash CSS slash bootstrap dot min dot CSS. Copy this path and paste it in scripts array. Replace CSS with JS and bootstrap.min.css with bootstrap.min.js. Go to Bootstrap website. Click on the docs link. Click on Buttons component. Copy this code. Now, open app.component.html file. Remove this code and paste the bootstrap code which we have copied. Go to your browser and reload the page. The bootstrap styles have not been applied, so we need to restart the server. Open the terminal in which the server is running. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server and then restart the server using ng serve command. Now, go back to the browser and you will see bootstrap buttons. Now, let's add a navbar with dropdown. Look for the navbar component. Click on Navbar Component. Here is the navbar with a drop-down menu. Let's create a navbar component. In your terminal, type the command ng, g, c, navbar and press enter. Here g is for generate, c is for component and navbar is the component name. Open navbar.component.html file. Copy this code. Paste the code in the navbar.component.html file. Open app.component.html file. Remove this code and add app navbar selector. Now, open app.component.ts file and add navbar component in the imports array. Also import navbar component. Go to your browser and you will see navbar with drop down menu. Open navbar.component.html file. Remove this code bg body color. Add BG Dark and DataBS theme equals Dark for Dark Mode. Go back to your browser and now you will see a dark navbar. Open Developer Tools and you will see that the navbar is responsive. Click on this hamburger menu, and the menu links will be opened. Click on the toggle device toolbar icon, and you will see that the navbar is responsive on the mobile screen as well. If you click on the drop-down menu and check your developer tools console, you will see an error. Uncaught type error, i.createPopper is not a function. Clear the console, reload the page and click on hamburger menu. Click on the drop-down menu and you will see the same error. It is showing an error because drop-downs are built on a third-party library, popper.js. Therefore, we need to add the path of popper.js in the angular.json file. 
go back to Bootstrap website. Click on the download link. Scroll down. We need to add the path from node underscore modules at popper.js slash core folder. Go to node underscore modules folder and look for at popper.js folder inside it. Open the at popper.js folder. Open dist folder which is inside the core folder. Then open umd folder. Now look for popper-base.minjs file. Here is the file path that we need to add to the scripts array in the angular.json file. Open angular.json file. Add at popper.js path before bootstrap.min.js file path. Type node underscore modules forward slash at popper.js slash core slash dist slash umd slash popper dash base dot min js in double quotes and add a comma. Now, go back to your browser and reload the page. Click on the hamburger menu and then click on the drop down menu. It still shows the error. We need to restart the server. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server and then restart the server using ng serve command. Go back to your browser and you will see the error has gone. Click on the hamburger menu. Now click on the drop down menu. You can see that the drop down menu is now opening and showing the links. Let's change the text of the links. Open navbar.component.html file. Change the text of the first link to company. Change the text of the second link to employees. Change the text of the third link to culture. Go back to your browser and you will see that the link texts have been changed. Now, you can create components for company and employees and add routing. Click on the i button to see the video about Angular routing. In this video, we learned how to install Bootstrap and add a responsive navbar with dropdown. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.